Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to uh, Poke Suit Challenge, the Guitar Letter System. Hey, the, I think really I try to come up with new points about this to help you understand the opportunity here. Um, the Guitar Letter System really is about cumulative uh, power. You know, it's, that, that's what's so powerful about the course. It's a cumulative foundation. If you just work on this and work on this and work on the pentatonic and work on the standard, and you know, working on standards is great, by the way. But my point just being is it look at it like a foundation of a house you know you got to have a strong foundation and everything and then you build and uh, create around that but you need to input the information into your uh you know your subconscious mind and like i said on yesterday and by the way i want to thank somebody sent me a really nice comment um i, I don't want to repeat the comment but i really appreciated the comment because it showed you know uh they're very aware of certain components of other artists that came out of my playing a little bit from something I did yesterday. I appreciate that because sometimes people send me really stupid ass comments like, before you buy another guitar, buy another t-shirt. Ah, great. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, God. Anyway, you know, I, I, it's just nice when people meet, leave a meaningful comment. It doesn't have to kiss my ass, but just a meaningful comment. Anyway, let's, let's, uh, so yeah, the guitar ladder system is about building a foundation, and I don't, I don't want to talk too much about all that right now. But you know, always be look, looking, you know, you're going to get what you put into it. That, that's the key to, to growing as a guitar player and waking up your own musical ideas. Eventually, you want to come up with your own musical approach. I feel like when I improvise on guitar, especially, you know, an arch top guitar, even a nylon string like my flamenco thing I did yesterday, when I improvise, I have my own voice. And, uh, and don't stress about that. Don't like, you know, it, it's, it's something that happens naturally, just like you have your personality, which is not exactly like anybody else. You know, we're all unique and, and the universe expresses through us, but you need to give yourself the tools to kind of learn to find your own harmonic logic, find your own unique approach. You're gonna mirror other players you like, but just always be learning something new. Here's something I just ran into. It's very, very simple. This. But I think, you know, simple's good because every time you get a little piece of, of the puzzle that adds up to what your, you know, your, your kind of musical database in your subconscious. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you if you play a chord on the guitar, you're not sure where to go. You can always go up a flat five. You know, two, three, four, five. So if I like I'm on half sharp, and that gives you a nice modern sound. And by the way, when you do more modern sounding stuff, it's not always going to sound right to you because you're you're moving into new harmonic territory. I've had people work my guitar ladder system and. If they overthink, they're like, well, you know, this study sounded good, and we, but when you went from that chord to that chord, that sounds wrong. It doesn't sound wrong. You're just not, you haven't, your musical ear hasn't uh, absorbed that type of uh, tension and resolution as being something that, that is colorful and meaningful. It's not about right. It's not about wrong. Again, the less you think, the better off you are when you do my studies. But... Um, Yeah, that's a simple thing, but it sounds it sounds nice, you know, major seven to major nine six with a seven on top. So this is simple, right? Major seven. I'm, I'm, I'm adding this A note on the top, which is which is the fifth. I like to get that slide. See that's sweet sounding. 
one of my criticisms, and I don't like to criticize art because art is art, but you know, play smooth, you know, play relaxed, don't be so jagged sounding. I hear some jazz players and they're so tense and, and always playing a million miles an hour or whatever, you know, don't be afraid because you can imply a lot of depth and imply a nice mood which can then be enjoyed by the listener by learning to be more smooth. And that's part of the guitar ladder system of learning to add color to your playing and not be so predictable and discover. I'll tell you, man, it's, I've had students that have done this. It's so rewarding when you begin to, to discover your own unique musical point of view, you know, way that, ways that you like to put chords together and stuff. But anyway, th this is the simple thing for today. Major seven to major nine, six, seven to uh, uh, major third. Uh, it's a major nine, six chord. And then like if, if I'm looking at it in, in E, I'm adding an A or I mean a B on the top, so, you know, another major third on the top, or no, I'm sorry, um, adding the B, another seven on the top. So, but yeah, just a simple thing. Yeah, the slide. It sounds even sweeter, right? By the way, it's important to make mistakes when you play. It's important to play things and go, ah, oh, it didn't sound very right. It doesn't sound right because then you kind of makes your ear thirsty. And that's the thing about the guitar ladder system. It makes your ear thirsty, you know. But yeah, simple things. To make it sweet like... That's a simple melody. So major seven, add a little note on the top. I like it. Now there I added a little shading. See, I think I'll just go right to that B. See, I'm just adding a little something to make that, that, that chordal family sound sweeter. So major seven. By the way, if you can hold a chord for as long as possible and then not have much skip when you transfer to the next chord, that's where just doing a lot of scales and getting your technique and getting your left hand up to speed because now we'll add the So, so simple things. Now, the guitar ladder system is a little more involved than that, but some of the studies in the guitar ladder system are very simple. But that's the whole point to it, is uh, you, know, you just build, you're building and you're building, and it's cumulative, you know? And you learn the 10 systems of improvisation in a very organic way. Sure, if you want to sit down and go, okay, one, six, two, five, that's fine. Now you can do that too. But it's I, I like adding sweetness to your playing, you know. So that I might just stop right here. Sweet little chunk of the it's all about learning chord families and how to, how to sound sweet and how to use the, the 10 different systems of improvisation. And when you practice the, my studies, my chordal studies and the guitar ladder system, just don't think, just do them. But then every day sit down and improvise and try to come up with a, every two or three days or every day or every other day, whatever's comfortable for you, trying to come up with some new way, even just putting two chords together. Joe Pass used to say that nothing made him happier than even if just once a week he found he found a new way to go from some chord to some other chord and found something sweet. So here, major seven, major seven to major nine six with the seven on top. Now there I just added the major 13 flat five, which is one of my favorite chords, by the way. And that's 
not a dominant chord with the flat seven, it's a major 13. So hear how nice that sounds? I'm just trying to sweeten up that little major seven to a major nine six with a seven on top. See, the more the more legato I can play that holding on to the chords as long as possible, and going from going from here to here as quick as possible to make it sound lush like a like a wave dripping in the ocean. stop right there a nice little tidbit all right guys take care let's all keep the positive faith and remember the universe is unfolding in time not unraveling ciao